Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 6 of Adobe Animate tutorial series. So today we're going to look at how to import vectors inside of Adobe Animate. So for vector what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Adobe Illustrator right here. So let me just open up Illustrator. I'm going to use it as a 2014 right here. Um, and my vectors can um, be easily imported. So you can simply um, uh, import uh, Illustrator files directly inside of Adobe Animate. So let me just um, um, wait for the software to start. Okay, and now we are in Illustrator. Let me just uh, create a new file over here. It does not matter uh, what file size you actually choose inside of um, Adobe Ani uh, um, inside of Illustrator. Sorry. So I'm just going to press Web over here in the profile, and then I'm going to import a random shape right here. So. Now, let me wait for the canvas to load. All right, so the canvas is there. And over here from the symbol, uh, from the symbols uh, library, I'm just going to import some random symbol out of, out of here. Let's say, for example, hell room, all right. And then click and drag. Uh, and then uh, expand it just like this. All right, so I got this diamond shape right here. All right, uh, expand this diamond shape right here and go to file and then export this out. So I'm just going to save this as an Illustrator file itself. Save desktop and then go Illustrator, save and there you go. All right, so just press OK and it's saved. So let me just close this out right here. Uh, close it, all right, go to file, go to import, uh, import to stays and then go to desktop and then select this. All right. So just click open and uh, the file will be imported right here. So let's wait. All right. So it is loading, loading, loading. All right. And then it actually asks which layer you want to import out here inside of Adobe Animate. So uh, it actually, uh, I only have one layer here. So if I have multiple layers inside of uh, Adobe Illustrator, then it'll actually show the layers as well. So it actually will ask you how you want to import the layer as well. So over here, you can see that you can convert it into animate uh, layers. You can change it to single animate layer or keyframes as well. So you can import this as bitmap as well, which is not a good idea if you want to use it for animation. And you can import it as a new symbol and so forth. So you can also set the stage size and import the stage size over here. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to hide the advanced settings right here. All right, I'm not going to uh, change any of it and just press import. And you can see that the uh, uh, the file is actually imported. And what you can do is you can resize this. So now this is actually a vector in, uh, vector file as well. So since both Flash and Illustrator are vector files, the compatibility issue is not there. So if I were to zoom uh, in, all right, so let me just zoom in over there. And you can see that this is all vector. So I can double click uh into the group and you can see that i can actually move out the individual group let me just double click all right so you can actually move out the individual group just like you would in illustrator as you can see so i can uh, uh take out separate parts of the uh layers over here just like i would in illustrator and animate them inside of adobe animate so you can see that you can create uh graphics inside easily create graphics inside of adobe illustrator and then bring them out inside of adobe animate and animate them so that is how animation works so you can create characters or you can create symbols in illustrator bring them out in uh, adobe animate and animate them so that is how the pipeline of animation works inside of an animate you can also create uh, the uh, shapes directly inside of animate but you can create much more uh, better graphics inside of illustrator so that is how it works so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe 